Dismantling the deep state. Donald Trump wasn't the first president to attempt draining the federal swamp. Can it be done, or is an unelected bureaucracy impossible to defeat? Well, joining us is historian Larry Schweikert. He's author of the new book, Dragon Slayers, Six Presidents and Their War with the Swamp. Larry, I've got to say it's a fascinating book. You look at six presidents, Lincoln, Cleveland, Teddy Roosevelt, JFK, Reagan, and Trump. And after reading your book, I come away a little discouraged, I must say, and feeling that Abraham Lincoln was probably the most successful in combating the swamp, in his case, the slave swamp. So the federal bureaucracy and its spoil system has actually grown way beyond what Lincoln battled. Please summarize for us, how has it evolved and changed over the years? Well, the uh, swamp or the, the spoil system, as it was then called, was created by Martin Van Buren when he was pretty much an obscure legislator out of New York State. And, and it was created in part as a way to uh, prevent a civil war. So Van Buren in particular sets up a brand new political party called the Democrat Party to prevent this civil war and protect and preserve slavery. And the way he planned to do that with people who were not in favor of slavery was to reward them with jobs or money or, or bribes, party positions and government positions. As the Whig Party becomes a competitor to the Democrats, they have to offer the same incentives, so they offer jobs too. So every election, the government grows just a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more as each party is trying to outdo the other offering jobs. Let's look at the deep state. I know Harry Truman actually created the Central Intelligence Agency when he signed the National Security Act of 1947. And after Kennedy's assassination, he wrote in a Washington Post op-ed that doing so was a mistake. If he had known what was going to happen, he would not have signed the act. So why did he regret it? And did the CIA, in your opinion, co-opt JFK? Or did JFK co-opt the CIA for his purposes? Well, well, Truman was right, and clearly after what's happened with Donald Trump, we see that the CIA, the FBI, even the DOJ itself have become these entities that can just um, uh, dismantle a popularly elected government from inside, and, and it's horrific. JFK's position was such that he saw the dangers of the CIA, but he needed them. He needed the CIA to uh, carry out his policies on Cuba, and more important, later, he needed them to carry out his policies in Vietnam because he was trying to avoid the uh, perception of, of uh, engaging in a war in South Vietnam, so he keeps putting in these CIA advisors and, and you know supposedly non-combat troops. I mean, one of the great myths is that Kennedy was getting us out of Vietnam because he said so to a couple of guys. But what he actually did was totally different. When he became president, there were 600 American personnel in South Vietnam. When Kennedy was assassinated, there were 16,000. And I want to get back to the deep state in a moment and Donald Trump. Uh, but first, Ronald Reagan, he may have cut taxes and budgets, but he really failed when it came to reducing the size of government. Why? Yeah, uh, Reagan came in with three major policy goals. Defeat the Soviet Union, check. Rebuild the American economy, check. Reduce the size of government, failed. And one of the main reasons he failed was, like Kennedy, he needed a lot of that deep state apparatus to help defeat the Soviet Union. And with Donald Trump, it was not just fighting a monstrous unelected bureaucracy, but also members of a 